uh, I was going to talk about voting. Um, so, uh, in particular, uh, you've seen that, um, well, one bit is enough to distinguish two possibilities, like you might get in a yes-no referendum. Let's, let's assume optimistically that everyone exercises their franchise so we don't need to represent people not voting. Uh, so uh, if, you have, um, if you have a yes-no referendum, you are being asked for one bit of information. Um, uh, I'm just trying to figure out what age you are and whether in the, the many referenda that we've had recently you've either been too, you know, too young for one and not old enough for the other or something. Um, but uh, the delight of you know, constantly being asked for one bit of information and being lied to for six months prior to that constantly uh, is, uh, uh, you know, that's, that, that's, that's a head. Uh, and um, uh, yes, uh, so let's think about uh, the way uh, Westminster general elections work. I mean, let's suppose uh, you're voting in Scotland, you've got maybe, uh, you've got uh, Tories, Labour, Lib Dem, you've got the SNP, you've got Greens, you've got UKIP, you might have Scottish Socialists, uh, you might have, I don't know, let's call it seven. Right. So you're asked in a first past the post election to place, to mark with an X using a pencil, the, um, uh, the candidate uh, of your choice. So let's say you've got seven candidates. How many bits of information are you transmitting? Yeah. Three. Three bits of information to distinguish between your seven possibilities. Right, think about that, folks. The Westminster system asks you for three bits of information every five years, right? Uh, so uh, if you think about that, if you compare that kind of upload speed to what your internet service provider gives you, um, you know, the, up the, yeah, the upload speed to the Westminster democratic process of you know, three bits every five years, it's not spectacular, is it? It's a wonder, it's a wonder they never figure out how to decide to do anything if that's all the information they're getting from the public. Or perhaps <coughs> they decide to do things without really caring what the public think. You, what, do you, what do you reckon? You know, I mean, uh, there's got, I mean, this isn't some sort of information deficit going on there. Um, think about how much information gets generated by government versus how much arrives from the public. Could it be that there are other inputs to the government process that are directing some of these governmental choices? <laughs> Rupert Murdoch. Uh, and, uh, yeah. So anyhow, uh, uh, we could make things slightly better if we had, uh, if we, uh, I mean, we'd get a slightly higher bandwidth if we had a bit more uh, uh, information in a vote. So one, one nice voting system uh, is approval voting. So there, uh, instead of just being given one X next to your candidate, you get as many Xs as you want so you can choose not to vote for any of the candidates, which is the same as not turning up. And uh, you, can, uh, you can choose to vote for all of the candidates, which doesn't actually make the blindness bit of difference, but you know, might feel good. Or you can choose that you approve of some candidates and disapprove of others. Uh, uh, okay, so in this voting system, uh, how many bits do you have for seven candidates? Three. Well, we had, if you only got one X and you were choosing where to put it, that was three bits. Now you've got seven candidates, and for each of them you get to choose whether to give them an X or not. Seven bits. Seven bits. You've got as much as seven. Uh, and, you know, so one reason why uh, approval vote, voting is better than first past the post uh, is that it, um, uh, it uh, defends you from uh, political uh, cloning. I mean, let's suppose that you want to vote communist. 
uh, and along comes uh, a candidate who has a very similar name to the communist candidate and calls themselves, I don't know, the Communist Party. And, uh, and maybe you can't quite <coughs> notice the difference because you're in a hurry. And all of a sudden, the communist vote gets split two ways because you've got to stick your first past the vote, vote somewhere. Right. Rotten luck. You know, a dirty trick has been played on the communists by the communists. Uh, this is not a joke, actually. This li really happened a few years ago. There was a literal Democrat candidate in a by-election in England, <laughs> and the Liberal Democrat vote went down noticeably. <laughs> uh, just it's that simple. And if you think about, uh, in particular, the various shades of left-wing or right-wing candidates we have, political cloning is a really serious issue. First past the post, is, is absolutely desperate for it. Whereas, if you were able just to approve all of the candidates you would be willing to put up with, uh, then, uh, then that would be nice. Um, there's um, uh, another possibility, though, which is that you might get to rank the candidates in order of your preference. So, if you have uh, seven um, uh, seven candidates, how many is that going to be? How many bits is that going to be? 21. Uh, well, let's just think about it. It's not as many as that. So how many different ways are there to rank seven candidates? Do you know how to figure it out? Seven factorial. So there's seven choices for the who comes first, six choices for who comes second after that, and so on. So um, uh, seven factorial is what, uh, well, it's seven times six factorial, seven, uh, yeah, so well, let's figure it out. One factorial is one, times two is two, times three is six, times four is 24, times five is 120, uh, times uh, six, so I get a bit fuzzy, is what, 720, uh, times seven uh, is five thousand and something. Four. Uh, 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 yeah, it's about right. Uh, how many bits does it take to represent that? Uh, yeah, thirteen. Uh, so uh, <laughs> two to the ten is a thousand and twenty-four. Double that, uh, two thousand and forty-eight. That's two to the eleven. Uh, 4096 is to the 12, 8192 is to the 13, so 13 bits would be enough. So yeah, so in general, preferential voting is, is giving you, you're sending much more data into the voting system if you have a preferential uh, voting system. Uh, so just, I mean, think about, uh, you know, when you're trying to evaluate uh, voting systems. That's one criterion to look at. If you're ever offered a choice of a voting system ever again, sorry, my generation screwed that up for you uh, many, uh, many years ago. Uh, and, uh, um, uh, yeah, just you know, just one way to look at it is in terms of the raw information involved. Uh, uh, okay. Uh,